Here we have a simple bi-stable latch circuit made using a thyristor and two push button or push to make switches. Pressing the set makes the LED come on and stay on. When the set is released you can see that it's latched as a bi-stable should. Pressing the reset unlatches the thyristor and the LED goes out. It's clearer to see what happens if we monitor current flow. Pressing the set push button allows current to flow into the gate of the thyristor. Now it's a very small current that's needed to make the thyristor latch. Releasing the set switch stops the current flow into the thyristor. Here you can see there's no current movement. But the thyristor is allowing current into the anode and out of the cathode. Pressing the reset switch diverts the current away from the thyristor and when it's released the LED goes out. That's because when the current is diverted away the thyristor unlatches internally. So we can press set to light the LED and reset to turn it off again. A downside of the thyristor as a bistable is that pressing the reset again lights the LED. There might be some useful purposes for this, but it's not really a useful bi-stable in that sense.